What's going on YouTube? Good call six here. <clears throat> Back to show you a few things. Uh, I've got four set pickups. Uh, one second. I always forget to grab the checklist to see how many cards I have out of the sets when I do them. So it was right there, so I forgot to go grab it. Um, excuse me, but yeah. Yeah, four set pickups. Uh, and then some uh, re-slabs on my BGS cases and then two BGS submissions that I had. So <clears throat> a decent amount of stuff in this one, I suppose. Most of it isn't new. It's old stuff, but it's in new cases. Um, and then, of course, the four set pickups. So I do have one more set pickup that I picked up. I don't know when it's going to be here, but I figured I'd make this video. I uh, hope everyone's having a fun time at the National. Uh, like seeing everyone's post, it looks like it's pretty uh blast so um one of these years i will try to make it it's just not a very good time for me uh, as far as time wise because usually because it's this weekend in two weeks we have i have state softball for our men's league uh and then the week after that i have uh, the co-ed state softball so i kind of those are my yearly plans usually for the most part uh, and then lately i've been going to a football game and that's usually in the <clears throat> september uh, to November or October time frame so um, just kind of a I guess t I feel bad taking time off from our bus uh, my family business so I try not to take as much as I I can off uh, so trip wise it's kind of my trips are kind of pretty well spent uh, in the late summer time so um, one of these years though I'm gonna try to make it hopefully they move it to like a July time uh, or like the beginning of July so that would be kind of best for me, but um, this came in yesterday. <clears throat> Al Horford. Wish I had a little bit more green on it, but I got this for under ten bucks, so can't complain too much on that one. Uh, this one's pretty sweet, uh, old school Robert Parrish. This one came all the way from Hong Kong. Actually, it's pretty quick uh, compared to a few things that I've had sent from there. So, um, and the Celtic patches—they're not going to be the best. Usually, going to be two colors. So. Um, not much you can do, but there is kind of a little wrinkle in there, so uh, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Got that for a pretty good price. I'm gonna drop it like I drop everything in videos. <laughs> um, next up, uh, I bought Josh Style Style 21 messaged me uh, the other day, say he had, said he had a John Wall uh, from the set that I'm putting together, uh, and that he we made a deal for it. So uh, quick and simple, he said he had one card for me that he was gonna send an extra wasn't much he says uh pulled that out of a blaster but this thing is pretty sweet um it's uh mike evans <clears throat> prism gold uh jersey numbered 10 out of 10 so nothing much just a gold refractor number to 10 is all nothing just nothing i mean nothing at all <laughs> um so thank you very much josh uh, and the card that I made the purchase off of him uh, was one of these. I've been wanting one of these. This was kind of one of the reasons I wanted to do this set. Uh, this guy and Kyrie Irving. So um, picked up the John Wall, number to 60. A little bit of, I mean, I don't know. It could technically count as a four color because this, these two look kind of a different color. But um, we might just call it a barely three color. So I wanted one of these of, of at least a three color. So. Happy to pick that up for the price that Josh gave me on it. Couldn't pass it up. So thank you again, Josh. Uh, and then to the last set pickup. I think I got bought this one from Canada, which is kind of weird buying basketball cards from Canada. It's usually hockey, but um, really nice patch on this one. Carmelo Anthony, number to 60. Of course, there's my, one of my dog hairs in there. I don't know if that was in the bag or on the, just the case. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> um, my dog sheds pretty bad in the uh, summer, so he needs a haircut because there's dog hair everywhere. Um, but yeah, nice Carmelo. One of the bigger names in this set, I guess. Got it for relatively cheap for considering the patch there is. But um, so out of the 65 cards, I have one, two, three.
17 of the cards, so not too bad. <clears throat> Started about a month ago. Um, if anyone sees any of the bigger names in National, I might the National I might be interested in one. Um, so if anyone sees anything, let me know. Um, now on to the BGS cards. I won this in a raffle. Came chipped. Knew we needed a new case, but it looks pretty nice now in a new case. New and shiny case. Hoping big things from him this year. Uh, Top Scrub Refractor. BGS 9510. Training camp started today for them. God, I can't wait for the season to start. Um, sounds like Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, and Deshaun Jackson all looked really good today, so... That's kind of neat. Picked up my first Godwin autograph today. Um, I'm thinking he's going to be a pretty big player for the Bucks because he's. I haven't heard anything bad about him at all through uh, the OTAs and the Ricky mini camp. Uh, and today he looked sounded like he did pretty well too. So, I mean, he might not get on the field very much this year, uh, but he's going to be pushing for a lot of playing time in the next few years. So, and with him, Deshaun Jackson. And Mike Evans would be pretty solid, going to be pretty solid moving forward. So, uh, this is part of the uh, Prism Rainbow, the red, BGS 95. That one came cracked, I think, from the eBay seller. Still have a few more that I need to get re slapped. I'm just OCD with my slabs. I hate them cracked, hate them scratched. Um, I think this one got cracked coming back from BGS. Uh, but this is the Breast Cancer Awareness. Number uh, 35. Found out there's another guy trying to put this rainbow together, which sucks for me because there's only five of the purples and there's already one out in another rainbow that that someone has put together. Um, and that rainbow, that guy has a way better rainbow than I do. He's got the whole thing 9510, which is pretty sweet to look at. Um, I actually saved the picture of it and keep it in my phone and look at it every now and then to somewhat maybe get there someday. Um, one of my favorite Evans, this is the tie-dye, BGS 9510, I think this one came back cracked from BGS too. Uh, one of my favorite Winstons that I have, I bought this one off of eBay and it was already cracked. I actually got it for a really good price considering what his prices are at now, so, um, Winston tie-dye, I only had this for a couple days before I sent all these cards off to Nathan for... Uh, regrading or resubmitting and reslabbing. So uh, this one's got some pretty nice subs as well. So um, love this card. One of my top favorites. Um, and then I resubmitted these two cards. They were both nine tens, and they came back nine tens again. So um, kind of sucks. But I also didn't have this one for very long either. Uh, I think I got this in the same time as the Winston tie dye, and before I sent them in so these are kind of tough to grade out I think the edges were a 10 no I don't remember the, the subgrades on this one maybe it was the surface was a 10 and everything else kind of stayed the same so uh, it kind of went down in subs because there's no 10 anymore but in my opinion Levante David's best card uh, non 101 of course but and you know I just love the cracked ices so um, and the last one <clears throat> this is the one of the reasons <clears throat> that I'm probably not gonna have a full uh, BGS 9510 Mike Evans rainbow because uh, this came back a second time as a BGS 910 so uh, I think these were both centering and edges were both nines the last time Centering was nine five. Centering was a nine. Edges were a nine. Corners were a nine five, and surface was a ten, I think. So they kind of <laughs> moved them around a little bit, which really doesn't make sense. So, and I don't know. I noticed this when I got it in the other day. There's kind of a dimple, right? Yeah, right there by the light, right there. And I don't know if that's been there before or if that's new, but it. It kind of just popped to me as soon as I looked the, looked at it and took it took it out of the box when Nathan sent it back to me. So, uh, and that is the Prism Gold to ten. So that is it for pickups and BGS subs, I guess. Um, like I said, two more cards coming in: one set pickup uh, and then one Godwin. 
I really want to start picking up a few more OJ Howard's, Chris Godwin's, and uh, Jeremy McNichols cards. Uh, there's only a few products that they've been in so far with Bucks uniforms, but um, yeah. So in my last video, I just kind of been down, down on collecting. <clears throat> Hasn't I don't know. There's just been a few things that have kind of made me mad recently. The whole Dak Prescott auto pen thing, um, and then gold standard football with just whack pat patches in them. Um, I don't know. There's just some sketchy stuff going on that just kind of been bugging me lately in the hobby. So um, still in that rut. <laughs> Uh, about the only thing I look for nowadays is the immaculate stuff and then the new uh, the new Bucks rookies. I watch them, but I haven't really been on much lately. Um, said so hopefully that that funk kind of goes away. Um, hope everyone has a fun time with the national. I said it looks like a blast. Um, not much going on with me really. I said softball's coming to an end. Our golf playoffs start in two weeks, three weeks. So kind of everything's kind of coming to an end here shortly, but just in time for football to start. So Hard Knock starts next week. So yeah, pretty exciting, I suppose. Um, hope everyone liked what you saw. Uh, other than that, have a good weekend, and I'll see you later. Bye.